Hello, fellow traders. Tis I, the Rumpled One, coming to you Friday, September 23rd, the year is 2022. Let's talk trading. Weekly wrap up. These videos are for educational purposes. Only your results may differ from mine. And taking a look at the week, you can see we've had a huge down move. Um, these, these past three days have just been really crazy. Uh, this is like back in the old 2008 era when the go-go days. And if you take a look here at the monthly, we're putting in new yearly lows uh, almost every minute here. It's, it's just, just nuts what's going on. Um, as you can see, we're 20 pips off the yearly low for anybody who wants to trade the yearly uh, rat zone, the green rats. Uh, looking here for the year, 2,612 pips below the yearly open. I, I mean, that's just huge. 706 from the monthly, 495 from the weekly, 340 from today's daily. Um, it's just a huge down move, huge down move. Inside bar wasn't in effect today. There was hardly any inside bars. Um, look at these ranges. Uh, the new, let's see, we've got the beast, 446, the new beast, 425, and once again, the pound at 377. Uh, more pairs over 100 than uh, under on daily range. Okay, it looks like the pound's making a move up here. Top, uh, see, we had top of the hour five minutes ago. So let's see if the pound wants to retrace back up further. We're at the psychological 25 level, out of that green rat zone. As you can see, we went below S4, almost down to the weekly S3 here. Uh, Bambino Flex said to go short near the pivot. And that was dead on the money today. Uh, we missed the pivot. So this month we've got three missed pivots. Last month, three. So we've got a lot of missed pivots this year. And they're probably going to stay that way unless something miraculously happens. Uh, out of that lower, in and out of the uh, lower, upper, then lower wick zone again. <laughs> Just a huge move to the downside. And the weekly range. 564 um, pips at the 91 percentile. I think there was only one week with a bigger range. Um, we didn't break out at a high. 454 uh, out of the low. Once again, 91 percentile over the last 12 weeks. High minus close, 536. Close minus low, 29 at the moment. Open minus low for the week, 514. High minus open, 50. So the buy zone traders were rewarded. Uh, the Walmart lines, <laughs> wow. Um, so many lines on the chart here, definitely scrunched up. It looks like we're stuck right around that psychological 25. Um, this is definitely a return bar. That's a return bar. Don't know if price is going to return to those levels or not. <clears throat> we had a high, a low high trade just kick in not too long ago. Good for 20 plus pips. If anybody's uh, starting to trade those. But uh, what's really interesting is the year-to-date accumulated range. Um, we've got 28.52 now which we've only had one, two uh, Septembers over the last 20 bigger than that. So that's pretty nice. Nice move there. And as we uh, scroll through the indicator, we can show the uh, range by month.
841. We've had 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. September's bigger. And let's see. Close minus open year to date percent. Pound is down 19.25% for the year. Um, and that's the biggest. So August was the biggest. September's the biggest. So things aren't looking good that way. And just looking at close minus open, you can see we've only had two green months so far this year. That's not, not too good. Uh, uh, this is kind of funny here. Um, everything is just saying prices down. Uh, so you really have to trade what you see. As you can see here, we passed the daily S4. S5 is down here. Um, and we've got uh, the FOMC chair is going to speak uh, in a, what, a little low, what, two, three hours from now? So that should be interesting to see what he has to say and the effect it has on the market. It's just been a, uh, a very, very interesting week. But if you know, if you notice these horizontal line trades, um, once again, uh, seem to pay off. And we actually dipped below the 109, 108.96 today. And so we're now 23 pips off of that low. <clears throat> you can see here the hourly ranges are huge. I mean, even if you come down to the five minute chart, <laughs> they're huge. It's just very large moves. But the funny thing is, even on these um, quote unquote crazy days, if you follow your trading plan and, you know, without any unforeseen circumstances, uh, these methods still work. Um, it was funny, I noticed one trader out on Kreslik was saying, he likes to trade the larger time frame charts, but you know, price is the same on all charts. So I'm not really sure what somebody means by that because you're trading price and you're just trading from one level, hopefully to the level that you choose. And then you just have to see what happens after that. And the double O was a, I mean, there was a huge break there. And I think there was another huge break here at the 111, and there was a break at the 112. So if you just traded those double O breaks today, um, each one could have paid off 100 pips. I mean, that, that's pretty significant. I, uh, I think I answered all the questions that were out there <clears throat> this week. Um, I don't recall anybody um, else asking any questions. But, you know, if we come back to this, uh, to this range, it's, it's something that you can do, and I was explaining it, um, in the other video about finding a trade and about taking profit, if you really pay attention to these candle ranges, <clears throat> they can prove to be quite profitable in the sense that, you know, you have to place your stops, you have to take profit when, when it presents itself, and you have to be quick about it. You have to be really quick because sometimes these brokers will uh, do things... Uh, slightly underhanded it seems but then again what the brokers do is out of your control so you, what you have to do 
is focus on what's in your control. And so if you know the brokers are doing something, you have to figure out a tactic or strategy to counteract it. And that's pretty much all you can do. Because it, no matter how much you complain to the brokers, I, they're probably just going to laugh. I haven't really seen one that takes comments that seriously. In term, when I mean seriously, meaning that they will actually make changes. It's been very uh, few and far between that I've seen that happen. And green rats, once again, you can get ready to feast. And we're back in that green rat zone. So it's best just to wait for a signal. Here we go. We've got a new 15 minute candle. So it looks like it wants to push up again. I mean, right now, if it were to break the low, you've only got about, what, an 18 pip stop. So we'll just have to wait and see what happens. And the buy zone, uh, that was definitely a huge move. And we had uh, some news come out earlier today. That was kind of interesting. I was thinking, you know, really any news that's positive for the U.S. Uh, dollar, I really don't believe it. I think they're just making stuff up, to be honest with you. Um, because when you just, you know, take a look, see what's going on. There really doesn't seem to be uh, that much happening. And so we can see prices moving up. If we get down here, looking at the uh, one minute chart. So we'll see if price can uh, break through to a new high for uh, for this area right here. And it seems like it wants to waver at the moment. You know, it's really funny because I was reading some of the other forums out there and people were <clears throat> predicting bottoms or saying, okay, we're going to go long here. And and some of the charts, you know, or once again, look like charts on drugs. Uh, in fact, I even saw somebody look like they took um, TRO HL5 or maybe some of the code out of it and put a whole bunch of different um, uh, fan lines or trend lines or whatever you want to call them but it it was really to me a chart on drugs i, I had to laugh and the reason i thought they took my code was because i saw the skull down here my little mark it's funny <clears throat> anybody using my code <clears throat> and they put they post they people think it's me but fellow traders, that's about it. So have a fun and safe weekend. Hope you had a profitable week. And come back next week. It's not what you trade. It's how you trade it. So go out there and drain the banks. This is the Rumpel One over and out.